You are driving in a one-way street and want to turn right ahead. What road position should you take? A. In the right-hand lane. B. Just left of the center line. C. As close to the middle of the road as is safe. D. In the lane with the fastest flowing traffic. Answer. A. In the right-hand lane. You are loading a caravan ready for a holiday trip. You should place any heavy items. A. As close to the front of the caravan as possible. B. As near to the back of the caravan as possible. C. As high off the floor as possible. D. As low to the floor as possible. Answer. D. As low to the floor as possible. You see a symbol like this flashing on your instrument panel. What does it mean? A. Your hazard warning lights are on. B. Your brakes need adjustment. C. Your handbrake is on. D. Your main headlights are on. Answer. A. Your hazard warning lights are on. A child under 14 years and his or her parents are passengers in the car you are driving. Who must ensure that the child wears a seat belt? A. The child's parents. B. The child. C. You. D. The front seat passenger. Answer. C. You. To join a motorway from a slip road you. A. Must speed up to 70 miles per hour. B. Should adjust your speed to match the speed of the traffic in the inside lane. C. Must never stop. D. Should keep to a steady 40 miles per hour. Answer. B. Should adjust your speed to match the speed of the traffic in the inside lane. Driving along a three-lane motorway, which general rule applies? A. The right-hand lane is the fast lane. B. Keep to the middle lane for safety. C. Keep to the left lane unless you are overtaking. D. Keep to the lane with the least traffic. Answer. C. Keep to the left lane unless you are overtaking. At the scene of an accident you notice a casualty who seems to be suffering from shock. You should. A. Offer the casualty a drink to calm his or her nerves. B. Talk to the casualty to reassure him or her. C. Keep the casualty moving to prevent fainting. D. Leave the casualty alone. Answer. B. Talk to the casualty to reassure him or her. After a motorway breakdown, your car has been repaired on the hard shoulder. To continue you should. A. Wait for a suitable gap in the traffic and then move off into the left lane. B. Build up speed on the hard shoulder before rejoining the carriageway. C. Keep your hazard warning lights on as you rejoin the carriageway. D. Complete your journey on the hard shoulder. Answer. B. Build up speed on the hard shoulder before rejoining the carriageway. What is a red route? A. A stretch of road where there have been very few accidents. B. A route in a city where parking and waiting are restricted. C. A stretch of road with an unusually high number of road signs. D. A road with a red tarmac surface. Answer. B. A route in a city where parking and waiting are restricted. Another vehicle overtakes you and cuts in sharply ahead. What should you do? A. Keep calm. B. Flash your lights. C. Sound your horn. D. Drop back to leave a safe space between you. E. Overtake the other driver to show how it should be done. Answer. A and D. Passing the line of parked cars how can you lessen the danger from pedestrians stepping out? A. By sounding your horn at regular intervals. B. By keeping your speed down. C. By driving in the middle of the road. D. By accelerating to pass the cars quickly. Answer. B. By keeping your speed down. You are following a driver who is displaying a green L plate and should. A. Sound your horn if the driver is too slow. B. Be ready to flash your lights and overtake. C. Be aware that the driver may not be as confident as you are. D. Follow closely so that you can be sure the driver can see you. Answer. C. Be aware that the driver may not be as confident as you are. Whilst driving, 
you see an elderly lady waiting to cross the road. You should. A. Keep to your speed and sound your horn. B. Be aware she may not be able to judge speed and distance very well. C. Assume that she can see you since you can see her. D. Select a lower gear and accelerate to pass the danger promptly. Answer. B. Be aware she may not be able to judge speed and distance very well. You are taking some friends on a trip and find that their conversation is distracting you in a busy road. You should. A. Turn on the radio to help you concentrate. B. Get angry with your friends. C. Stay calm and ask your friends to be quiet. D. Break sharply to surprise your friends. Answer. C. Stay calm and ask your friends to be quiet. You find yourself getting very annoyed by another driver's mistakes. You. A. Should show your frustration by sounding your horn. B. Could be putting yourself and other road users at risk. C. Should overtake the other driver immediately. D. Can safely and justifiably shake a fist at the other driver. Answer. B. Could be putting yourself and other road users at risk. What would reduce the chances of a neck injury in a collision? A. Anti-lock brakes. B. Seat belt pretensioners. C. A side impact protection system. D. A properly adjusted head restraint. Answer. D. A properly adjusted head restraint. It has just started to rain after a long dry spell. When will the road surface be most slippery? A. When it has rained for an hour or so. B. A few minutes after it starts to rain. C. When puddles have formed on the road. D. About an hour after the rain stops. Answer. B. A few minutes after it starts to rain. What is the purpose of these raised red lines on the road surface? A. They prohibit parking and waiting. B. They alert you to a hazard ahead. C. To encourage you to slow down. D. Warning of a school crossing patrol ahead. E. A reminder to check your suspension. Answer. B and C. If you are unsure whether a medicine will affect your driving you should. A. Check the label on the medicine. B. Ask a friend to try driving after taking the medicine. C. Ask your doctor or pharmacist. D. Ask a friend to follow you as you drive. E. Stop taking the medicine. Answer. A and C. You see this sign whilst driving your car on a single carriageway road. What does it mean? A. It is safe to drive at 60 miles per hour. B. The national speed limit applies. C. You may drive at 70 miles per hour if safe. D. You must not exceed 30 miles per hour. Answer. B. The national speed limit applies. Where may you overtake in a one-way street? A. On the right only. B. On the left only. C. You may not overtake. D. On the left or right. Answer. D. On the left or right. To correct a front-wheel skit caused by fierce acceleration you should. A. Use the choke. B. Brake sharply. C. Ease off the accelerator. D. Apply the parking brake. Answer. C. Ease off the accelerator. The best way to slow your car on a very icy road is to. A. Coast to a halt with the clutch down. B. Use engine braking. C. Select reverse gear and slip the clutch. D. Use the parking brake. Answer. B. Use engine braking. Rear wheel skids are usually caused by A. Harsh braking. B. Coasting. C. Steering too gently. D. Accelerating too late. Answer. A. Harsh braking. It is more dangerous to overtake a tram than a car because A. Trams are quieter. B. Trams are very slow moving. C. You could get stuck in the tracks. D. Trams can be very long. Answer. D. Trams can be very long. 
cyclists are more vulnerable than car drivers because a. they have less protection in an accident b. they are unable to brake firmly c. they are more prone to mistakes d. they can't accelerate out of danger answer a. they have less protection in an accident what danger should you be aware of when overtaking a car and caravan? A. The car and caravan may accelerate sharply. B. The driver towing the caravan may have difficulty seeing you. C. Caravans are prone to swing wildly from side to side. D. You will need to pull in sharply after you have overtaken. Answer. B. The driver towing the caravan may have difficulty seeing you. What does this sign mean? A. No horse riders permitted. B. No horse-drawn carriages. C. Beware of horse riders ahead. D. Bridleway ahead, horse riders only. Answer. C. Beware of horse riders ahead. What does this sign mean? A. Priority over approaching traffic. B. One-way street ahead. C. Give priority to oncoming vehicles. D. Contraflow ahead. Answer. C. Give priority to oncoming vehicles. What does this sign mean? A. One-way street. B. Ahead only. C. Bus lane ahead. D. Danger overhead. Answer. A. One-way street.